Once you are on the Time Card application, you can click on Application Help, which will take you to the Application Help screen. The information available on this page includes general help, supported web browsers, vacation and sick award information, payroll deadlines, time card status explanations, NDPD code conversions, and user details. First, we have general help. If you have any questions or issues, use the contact information listed here to contact somebody who will be able to hear any questions or concerns. Next is a list of supported browsers that the time card application can run. We then have the Vacation and Sick Awards section, which explains when employees will be rewarded vacation and sick balances. We then have Payroll Deadlines. The Payroll Deadlines section identifies the working deadlines for employees and supervisors in regards to time cards. You can see the previous, current, and next pay period start and end dates, along with final completion and final approval dates. Then there are time card statuses. These statuses include in progress submitted, rejected, approved, errored, and processed. A small explanation follows each status. Next there is NDPD code conversions. First we have a PD code conversion to NP absence types. PD codes have been converted to the university no pay absence types. We also have non-absence ND code conversions to phase code. The following ND codes have been eliminated and replaced with phase codes. For those eliminated ND codes listed in the conversion table below, you will need to now enter a task number and related phase code for the hours associated with that type of labor. The last bit of information on this page is the user details, which includes username, user ID, email, and permissions. And that is all for the application help screen.